I'm just gonna start this video with some nice cat content. That's Bear's pillow. And Goose has been sleeping in that spot on my bed consistently, which is why there is a lot of white hair gathered. What do you have to say for yourself, miss? Huh? You're very cute, though. We'll start with this side of my room. So, on the other side of my room is my AT shelf, and this side is basically everyone else I collect. So, right at the top, uh, we can start off with that guy, and that is my Holities hat that I wore to the AT's concert back in January. And then I have my little um, cotton candy cookie BT21 plushie. I have a colorful Trauma Woods signed album. I have my little Monday collect book. And then I have this like homemade um, snow globe thing that I made several years ago. And then I keep uh, Key's Gasoline and Bad Love album up here because I absolutely love the design of it. So I want to keep them on display. And then right there I have a freebie poster I got at the concert uh, this past November. And then on this little shelf thing I have some supplies. So this is all my sleeves and then this box is where I keep incoming cards before I sort them. And then I have this candle that my best friend got me one year. It's pretty and it smells good so I keep it up here. I have the floppy disk version of Key's gasoline album. I have my little Nanook Beanie Babies. <laughs> and then something non-K-pop related. Uh, I have a signed Little Mix album uh, because my friend graciously gave it to me. And I like Little Mix, so yeah. Okay, and below that shelf is my cube section. <laughs> so... On this side, I have the things that are too tall to fit in the cube. So I have some Dreamcatcher photo books, the Love Stealer and Mysterious Mansion. I have the One Us Blood Moon Theater version album. I have Hwasa's Maria album. And then I have my Atlantis Shiny album. And then I also keep my Dreamcatcher light stick on display because it is probably my favorite light stick. Don't come for me, a tinnies. I love the light tinny, but... The Dreamcatcher light stick is just fucking amazing. And then I have my little Boba plushie. Get so cute. And then I also have an ATs garland, which was from the fan kit this year. And then on the side are my two A4 binders. So I have my Dreamcatcher binder, and then the red one is my ATs binder. And moving on to the first shelf of cubes, on the left I have my Dreamcatcher cube. So I only started buying albums in 2020 and I didn't start buying Dreamcatcher albums until Summer Holiday came out. So Summer Holiday were, were the first albums I bought from Dreamcatcher and I only buy the regular version albums. So I have those, I have Apocalypse Follow Us and Apocalypse... Or Apocalypse Apocalypse Save Us came first, <laughs> and then Apocalypse Follow Us, which was their most recent comeback. And then I have the Dreamcatcher Seasons Greetings from this year. And then my middle shelf is where I keep my uh, A5 binders. So I have my two ATs binders. They all have um, map washi tape that I put on the spine to uh, identify them as ATs. <laughs> And then I have my One Us, Purple Kiss, Stacy, and Miscellaneous binders there as well. And then this side right here is my One Us cube. So I have all of the One Us Korean albums besides the first three. And it hasn't been a priority for me to get those. Um, but maybe one day I will. But it is a full cube right now. So I'll probably have to do some more Tetrisy things to <laughs> switch it up and make sure future albums fit. Um, but I guess also something I should point out with my shelf is that I go by debut date. So I start off with Dreamcatcher, and then I move on to One Us, and then I have my TXT, and then Purple Kiss. So then come down to the second shelf, and like I said, I have my TXT. <laughs> I already had to expand TXT into two cubes because they had a lot. 
And then I also have uh, my TXT light stick, and that is my TXT binder. I do have every TXT Korean album. I don't collect their Japanese stuff. And then this side is my purple kiss cube. And so I have all the Korean albums and then I have my two by Stigipack from Geeky Land. And then on the bottom, please excuse the dust. It's gross, I know. Um, on the left here is my miscellaneous shelf. So it's just albums I've bought because I've liked them, but it's from groups I don't collect. So there's an hype in there, which I used to collect them, but I've sold a lot of my albums now and I've only kept two. Uh, I do have a weekly album there. I have some EXO albums. I have Beckyon's Bambi. I have my some of my Red Velvet albums um, and Monster for my Rain and Solgi. And then I also have my Nikki collect book down there as well. And then that cube is just a blush, a blushy, <laughs> a plushy. Um, it was a plushie that my friends got me several years ago after my cat Roxy passed away. Um, it, the plushie looks like my cat, so they got it for me. And then down here is my BTS section. Um, I don't really collect or buy like BTS things, but this is just what I've accumulated over the years. So I have the B album. I have some cassettes. I do have a A5 binder that I put the B photo cards in there and then my friend has given me some tour cards over the years as well, so just my miscellaneous BTS cards go in that little binder and then I have my BTS light stick there as well. Okay, so let's move on to this shelf, which is my dedicated 80s shelf. I'll start with what is on the side here. So I have a couple uh, prints. Uh, they're, they're from like this uh, package, package thing that my friend got me in a K-pop store in LA. Um, so yeah, they're unofficial. They're not official prints or anything like that. Um, and then I have these three Aitini passes from the Japan concert merch, and this is Hongjun, Yosang, and Huyoung. And then this is the air freshener that came in the A Tinny fan kit um, from this year. And then I have my Cat Tease dolls, which are Hong Jun, Yosung, and William. Um, and I will leave a link in the description with all the shops that I get like the plushies and other things from. Uh, so that is what is on the side. I'm literally standing on my bed right now so we can see at the top of my shelf. But right at the top, I have my two light tinny boxes, and then I have my signed albums. I wanted my signed albums as uh, far away from the light as possible, so I, I put them at the top because this corner is like a little bit darker because I don't want the light to make the color fade. Um, but I have a Hongjun, Yosung, and Wooyoung signed album, and then right below that I have my kind of a miscellaneous shelf I guess you could say so I have a few Japanese albums here I have my atheist collect book from the Wonderwall um, collab and then I have some uh, Hongjun and Yosong cards in there and then I have a Jonghong collect book and then I have the um, collaboration album they did with Kim Jong-gook um, which it's called, is it called Summer Songs? I, I always call it Season Songs, I think, but it's actually called Summer Songs. I always say it wrong. And then I have this little photo flip book from their 2022 Seasons Greetings. And then in the back there, I have my little Hehemon uh, crochet plush, and then my Hong Nugget. They're very cute. Excuse the dust on my shelf. And right below those shelves is where I start with my album storage. So the way that I do this, it's basically just what fits, but also I kind of wanted to keep it in order of their storyline. So down here is the Fever series, and the Fever series is a prequel to the Treasure series, so it should really go above the Treasure series, but those albums are too tall and they won't fit on the shelf. <laughs> so the way that I laid it out, I started with Treasure, and I have all the Treasure series, including the Anniversary album. And then below Treasure, I 
we'll put the world series. So right now we just have episode one, and then I have my three bias line digi packs. And then under that separate is the fever series. And also on this shelf, I have my two light tinnies and the little stands for the light tinnies I got off of Etsy, so I'll also link that. And then below that is where I have basically everything else. So this is all photo books, season's greetings, DVDs, and birthday merch. So this is almost a full shelf, so I will have to... Uh, move this and play Tetris with it probably sometime in the very near future. And then below that I have this bin that I keep uh, extra binder supplies in and then I have a few larger inclusion binders on here and I have my light tinny case. So yes, this is kind of a miscellaneous bin just to uh, store some stuff. Okay, I put my phone on a tripod because my arms are tired. <laughs> But I will end my tour uh, of my K-pop shelves on something that is not a shelf. It is my wall. It is my AT's wall that I spent a lot of time setting up. Um, please ignore my green screen paints color. I did not choose this. It was like this when I moved in and I just haven't gotten around to painting it yet. Um, but it will be painted eventually. Anyway, <laughs> um, up on the left side is the poster I got from the AT's tour back in January. And then this print, this print, and this Young print are from their first Wonderwall collab that came out in May of this year, I believe. I just, the, the prints that we got for the merch that we bought, it, they were like really nice high quality and I wanted to display um, my bias line. I have the other members as well that I want to display, I just don't know how I'm gonna do it yet. And then I have my um, bias line Remember photo cards in PC holders right in the middle and then up here is where I have extra PCs from the other members because you know I'm very much an OT8 lover I gotta have all my babies up on my wall and then up at the top I have a print from their season's greetings and then this is a there's a glare on it um, but this is a ticket that I got printed off the seller on Etsy that it's just like a commemorative um, concert ticket and you like tell them your seat number and they print it out and it's just it's good fun and then right in the middle is an art print of Hongjun that my secret Santa gave me last year um, and it's just really it's really pretty so I wanted to include it so that concludes my 2022 k-pop shelf tour this is actually my <laughs> first k-pop shelf tour um, I do not have space <laughs> in my house, in my room. I have a very small room, um, so I, I, I play Tetris a lot with the items that I have because I have to utilize and maximize this, the small space that I have. Um, and I know there are a lot of YouTubers that have those like giant IKEA shelves. I do not have that luxury, um, so if there's anyone else <laughs> on the internet who is like me and uh, doesn't have a lot of space, um, let me know what you do to store your albums or like whatever hobby items you have, because um, who knows, maybe we can get some ideas from each other. But yeah, so as my collection grows, I'm gonna have to keep thinking outside the box on how I want to store my items because I simply don't have a lot of space. Um, so maybe this also will help someone else who doesn't have a lot of space. But I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.